Oh, welcome, lovely Capricorn, to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with crystals crying and continuing on with the tarot and oracle as spiritually led. Okay, lovely fellow Capricorns, let's go ahead and roll and see what spirit has in store. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please show me, tell me, or both, what does Capricorn need to know for this timeless reading, please, Spirit? Thank you. Here. Okay, thank you. Okay, and who is Capricorn? Whoa, hold on a minute. Spirit's leading me. Hang on. Where am I where am I going? Here? Okay. I just got a second vision here. Hang on. Huge voltage type of like lightning. Okay, and who is Capricorn in this one? Okay. And what is this? Okay, Capricorn. Is this you or this? Okay, Capricorn, you're being watched. Okay, Capricorn, in the very first, the very first vision, I saw you cheek to cheek. Uh, you're coming through as a feminine and there's a masculine. And it's like a very, some kind of close connection, close bond. Now, please remember, this does not mean it has to be intimate, okay? This could be a partnership, close loved one, family member, you know, on and on. But then a spirit showed me it's like a, a huge television screen. Someone's watching. So someone's watching us, Capricorn. Someone could have, could be like missing Capricorn or someone's, mm, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Interested. In Capricorn. Someone's watching Capricorn here. Okay. Tell me more, please. Who's watching Capricorn or why? Okay, I just got a head rush. A spiritual high. Extremely strong. Capricorn, be watching for your intuitive abilities to increase dramatically. Make sure, Capricorn, if you do not already have a dream journal beside where you sleep, make sure to begin that now and it's always very important that as soon as you wake up to write every little detail down every detail matters okay um because if you say uh i'm too tired I, I gotta go back to sleep for a few more minutes usually what i've noticed in my own life when i wake up i only remember part you know if any you know uh so uh it's very important as soon as you wake up just write everything down as hard as it may be to wake up, okay? Wow, this is extremely high, okay? Huge, huge. Wow, this is massive. Spirit, bring it down just a little, please. Thank you. Beautiful Capricorn. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, be expecting a lot of downloads to come through. Lots of um, synchronistic energies to be happening. This could be animals. This could be insects. This could be songs um, to, that have messages for you. Um, don't dismiss anything at this time. Whenever you watch this reading, do not. This is timeless. So whenever you click on this, this is your time. Do not dismiss anything. Where 
seriously go to the cards wow spirit is really dealing with capricorn here okay let's get rolling what deck would you like to go to okay here we're going to start with the tarot spirit is ready spirit has something major to say to capricorn okay wow okay the star oh my gosh first card out the star okay so for me the star that is a card of uh actual like hope new beginnings healing and once uh you know the healing takes place and there's all kinds of these new opportunities that opened up for capricorn i am loving this for some of you it could actually mean like star type quality um doesn't mean that you're actually a star or will actually be a star as in famous um now you know it can be but i feel like actually what it's saying here is that star quality and being able to move forward in some kind of direction with your heart streams goals okay spirit awesome give me more please recent past for capricorn recent past okay okay we have an ace of wands i'm going to keep i feel like i want to keep it sideways it came out sideways i'm going to keep it like that um I use my intuition. I'm an intuitive reader. So this time I'm feeling I'm going to keep it that way. Spirit, give me more recent past. Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is a new passionate beginning, but it's sideways. It came out with the star. So let's see. Recent past. What's going on with this Ace of Wands sideways? Recent past for Capricorn. What do you want to tell us, Spirit? Okay. These? Yes. Okay. What a deck. Okay. Spirit, that's a lot of cards. Okay. We'll take them. Got to listen to Spirit. We have Six of Pentacles. Oh, let me show you. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Reverse the upright. Upright. We have Knight of Swords. Reverse the upright. Upright. Okay. We have Temperance. With the Three of Cups. Okay, reverse or upright, upright. We have death card. Reverse or upright. We have the hierophant. Reverse or upright. Reverse. The lovers in reverse. Reverse or upright. Upright. Okay, we have the full. All right, so what I'm getting here, the ace of wands in uh, sideways. Okay, so it's like you okay so capricorn it's almost like i feel like you had this vision of something you wanted to create in your life now some of you it could be online um some of you uh it could be something that you're wanting to create in your home it could be some kind of new awesome new idea you you uh, have downloaded or something that you have envisioned you'd like to start in your life or do in your life but it's almost like mm, there's some kind of either hold up with this new passionate beginning um or something that's kind of holding you back here we have the six of pentacles um now six of pentacles can mean breadcrumbing um but it can also mean um uh, having you know, like spirit giving you enough and having to to make ends meet and do what you need and also have a little bit left over to help others but to be careful about people, you know, trying to uh, take too much from you, okay, to where you have nothing left. It's also about planting seeds here. So I'm feeling like for most of you, I feel like what's going on here, there was some kind of mm, halt or imbalance when i see something sideways that's telling me there's something not quite in balance so in order for this star quality so it's like you're seeing this star quality within yourself okay but in order to get there there's some kind of hold up you have to plant the seeds so in the recent past there was some kind of seed that you planted uh this could be actually physically doing something or envisioning something in your mind but somehow you have planted seeds okay something that's very important for you uh person place situation now the knight of swords that's like rushing in now this knight of swords is 
facing towards this six of pentacles so it's like rushing in so it's kind of like a, a feeling of like you get this idea and you rush you rush in towards this idea okay you rush in to plant these seeds um but however with this temperance card there's something here still making you feel a little sideways uh, maybe something didn't take off uh, as expected something didn't happen as expected quite and it's required a lot of patience it could have been taking a lot more time than you'd expected uh, but you you were, you were having to really be patient here um, but see that brings you into this three of cups energy now this three of cups you know that's celebration that's celebration with friends family uh, close loved ones uh, work acquaintances, you know, so it's, it's like a party, happy, let's celebrate type energy. Look what I did. Let's celebrate. You know, I did this. So I feel like it's it's been uh, a challenge overcoming a challenge uh, to get those seeds planted the way that you wanted to get them done. And with this Knight of Swords, I'm also feeling like, because it's rushing in, I'm also feeling like it's like something that you really invested a lot of yourself within somehow, whether it's mentally or whether it's actually physical. But you were definitely taking a lot of action towards something here. But it's it's. It's like I'm feeling accomplishment with this three of cups. There's some kind of accomplishment here. Okay. And then we have the death card. Yeah. So it's like, okay. So you have ended some kind. Okay. Here's the accomplishment. You have ended some kind of situation, some kind of cycle here and starting a new one. Uh, there's like been a death and rebirth of a certain situation that's enabled you to move forward now because with this temperance card the temperance cards also about um merging what you have two things like two cups together pouring them into one big cup and manifesting something so taking a little bit of this a little bit of that and pouring them together manifesting something in this big huge cup of fulfillment okay now so what's happening here is because you have ended some kind of cycle here this could have been a cycle that you needed to heal with this star card okay um actually like taking extreme action here on healing something things that are you know taking taking a spiritual sweep of your life and taking all the lessons learning from those um which may have required with this patience this temperance card to Take some time out and really reflect. It's bringing you into this higher energy, a time of blessings, um, a time of uh, leadership type energy. Being a teacher or a leader of something. Now, we have this, the lovers in reverse. For some of you, Capricorn, um, you may have been so busy rushing in towards planting your seeds. There may have not been the extra time in the day, right, uh, for some kind of relationship now. But the lovers doesn't have to mean there ha it has to be some kind of intimate partnership or a partnership at all. It can mean that there may have been some kind of crossroad, Capricorn, that you have had to, you know, some kind of obstacle, some kind of choice. Should I go in this direction? Should I go in this one? And what Spirit's saying is you have chosen the new path here. Okay, so since there's so many cards, I'm going to bring these down here. Guys, please remember this is a general timeless reading, so you can appear anywhere on the board. You can be past, current, future. Okay, so just take what resonates. And, you know, Spirit, why did I? Okay, so Spirit, Spirit hadn't even led me to this. I guess Spirit did. I just didn't feel it, but I automatically went to grab this. Usually I'll wait for a jolt. That's interesting. And then Spirit gave me the jolt after I asked. Interesting. 
telling you guys, Capricorn intuitive abilities are going to be increasing massively. Shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany, transformation. I'm not kidding you. There is that huge transformation that's coming in here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Give me more for current, please. For Capricorn. Thank you. What do we have? Not enough, lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustrations. So Spirit's saying make sure that Capricorn, when you um, are having these huge uh, awakening experiences or when you're having this massive, these massive downloads or whatever that's going on here, um, these epiphanies, Spirit's saying not to allow your fear to get in the way of what is coming, what you're taking action towards whatsoever, okay? I always know, Capricorn, you are more than enough. Coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendships. So it looks like for some of you, there could be an actual partnership of some kind coming in. This could be romantic, does not have to be. But there's someone here or an opportunity coming in, hammer, sabotage and rebuild persistent working on it repairing so for some of you this could be someone from the past or someone that you have spoken to in the past things just didn't move forward and now it uh this person is seeing that it's time to move forward this is the person that's what that was watching you this is the person that was watching you capricorn they were watching you they didn't say anything and because they didn't say anything that Okay, because they, they didn't say anything you didn't know. And now they're wanting to meet up somehow, maybe go for a date, maybe talk online, whatever. But starting out as a good friendship in which, you know, I'm a firm believer, Capricorn. Relationships definitely need to start out as a friendship for real. Okay, uh, what else? What else? Turn for Capricorn. Thank you. And what do we have? mask it says hiding true feelings pretending and delude gaslight and pers personify okay well what i'm getting from this card i'm not feeling the gaslight and personify i'm feeling that this person of course they weren't telling you their true feelings they were watching you they were watching you because i saw a huge screen tv and capricorn right there what was representing capricorn right there on the screen so you're definitely being watched, Capricorn. This person did not want to reveal themselves, that they're watching you. But now they're coming forward. Now they're coming forward wanting to start some kind of friendship with you. Okay, Spirit, give me more. Okay, so we have abundance, positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, bliss, and blessings. Okay, beautiful. I'm getting many things from this. So take this out, resonates in your life. For some of you, I'm feeling like this abundance, this is saying, um, you know, to make sure that you evaluate uh, what you invest in. Okay, uh, make sure that as you're building this friendship, if that's what you decide to do, uh make sure that it's an equal give and take um in other words you know that you're not just giving everything you can possibly give and getting nothing in return okay um that's what i'm talking about uh sometimes you know i because i can say um i have had to really work on myself as a capricorn not to over give it's uh, i work on it every day every day and i'm sure capricorns you know exactly what i'm talking about uh, because capricorns are very nurturing and loving and we see the potential in everyone and everything and and um you know we have to we have to come to the point now um capricorn to where we understand that the more that we give out that needs to be reciprocated if not we need to back off plain and simple because if not Capricorn Capricorns have such a big heart and are so loving that um, before Capricorn knows it Capricorn can be doing everything for someone else to help other people or whatever and not spending any time to take care of Capricorn 
right? So, you know, we have to make sure there's a, a good investment um, and doing it the right way, okay? Which is a really good thing starting out as, <clears throat> excuse me, as a friendship. Um, you know, being able to um, set good boundaries with yourself, you know, uh, boundaries need to start with ourselves first. What What's good for us? Because only we know each and every one of us on this planet only knows ourselves 100% what is, um, what hurts us um, energetically. So we each know better. It's kind of like going to a doctor and the doctor sees you for 15 minutes but you know yourself for the lifetime, right? Um, you know what makes you not feel good. So the doctor has to rely on the fact that you know you better than anyone else does. It's that kind of situation here. I'm also getting for some of you that um, whomever this person may be that's watching you, uh, they could be an, a very abundant person. They could have a very positive mindset they could have actually been manifesting you that could be what this tv screen is as well um it could be that they've been um envisioning you um bringing you into their energy somehow um i'm also getting for some of you um the capricorn this could actually be you where you have went through some kind of death and rebirth here uh it's almost like, a, I don't really want to say a glow up, but like a, a change in perspective about self and putting yourself first and making sure that you nurture yourself and you listen to your body and you do what your body's asking you to do. You're doing, you know, you're, you're allowing not just your heart, but your intuition to guide every movement that you make and in doing so. You're also, it's almost like you are manifesting this type of energy as well. As far as someone coming into your life or some of you, it could be multiple people uh, contacting you, wanting to start some kind of friendship or something like that. Um, but it's like becoming in alignment here, complete alignment with spirit. And in doing so, it's like all of these abundant things are starting. You're noticing it's like your life is changing, Capricorn. Your life is literally changing. More beautiful than it ever has. Okay, give me more, please, current. Okay, thank you. All right, reverse or upright? Upright. Separation, sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future. Yeah, so this person that's watching Capricorn, uh, this is someone you have you have known, you have known of. Some of you may have spoken to this person in your past. I'm not actually feeling relationship here in the past. I feel like this is some someone that you have either known as a friend at some point or it's a new friendship. That's what I feel like here. That's what I really feel like here. Okay, let's go to, I just heard kiss. I don't even feel like you've ever kissed this person. So again, that's telling me this is someone you've known of but not been in a relationship with. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to go to a different deck. Spirit, where would you like for me to go, please? Near future? Here? Okay, thank you. Your future, thank you. Okay, what do we have? Two of Cups. Yeah, this for many of you again, this is some kind of relationship, doesn't have to be intimate. Okay, 
definitely uh, someone watching Capricorn here. Someone interested, at least one person, thinking of you, Capricorn. You're seeing the changes in you, Capricorn. You that where you've stepped into your truth, your worth, taking good care of yourself. They're seeing these things. Queen of Pentacles. There's Capricorn. Oh, let me show you. Right there is Capricorn. So that's Capricorn. These. Thank you. That's Capricorn staying very grounded. Going after the pinnacle. Planting seeds. Okay. Reverse or upright. Upright. Magician. Love it. So there we are. Manifesting. Reverse or upright. Upright. I kid you not. Look. Lovers. Okay. So we have the two of cups with the lovers. The lovers can meet a crossroad, but I'm feeling like in this situation, this is that person that's watching Capricorn. Or one of them. If you have many options, like it's one of them. One of them. Um, okay. Upright. Knight of Wands. Yeah. So this is taking on a new adventure here with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So with the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit always uh, teaches me that it's basically, this is something that's up to you, Capricorn. It's how you want to spin the wheel or not. Okay. So if you imagine you're behind a the wheel of the car, right? And you're in the driver's seat. So it's up to you. You know, do you want to keep continuing down a certain path? In other words, keep repeating cycles. Or do you want to kind of turn just, just, just even the slightest turn? Okay. It's going to take you on a different path doesn't have to be huge, okay? It doesn't have to be uncomfortable. But the slightest tilt of the wheel can change everything for Capricorn. And I feel like that's what you're doing here. You're taking control of that wheel, Capricorn, for what Capricorn wants now. Not following the cars in front of you, right? No, no. No more cycle stuff releasing those cycles so that you can do what makes you happy go on that new adventure love it okay where would you like for me to go capricorn here thank you okay what do we have hang on let me move the cards okay we have page of wands with the devil. There we are. There we are showing up in our reading. What, Empress, there we are, Capricorn. I'm telling you, three of cups. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. There is so much goodness coming in. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have the page of wands that's living our passions, that's doing what makes our hearts sing. That's just really doing what makes us happy. Okay. And of course, Nothing to hurt anyone else, right? Uh, we have to we have to take everything into consideration. What I'm meaning by that is, um, you know, if you like to sing, sing. If you like to write, write. If you like to go out and go on adventures in nature or whatever, go do it. Okay, um, do what makes your heart happy. And I see that's what's what's coming in for Capricorn here in the very near future. And again, there was the devil card. There you are. Um, that's all I'm getting from that. And you're actually coming into a strong Empress energy here. And this Three of Cups, that's about celebration. It's having fun with friends, family, um, you know, just really celebrating uh, your life's achievements, your your new achievements. The, the seeds that you've planted over here are now coming into fruition. You're beginning to see progress on these seeds you planted. And you're like, wow, I did this. I did this all by myself because I learned my worth. I learned how to release things that were toxic in my life, people that were toxic in my life, and begin my own new journey. I learned how to be independent more so now than ever. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the focus. What focus would you like to bring in, please, for Capricorn here? Is it this one or this one? This one. Okay. 
So we have a love, yeah, that one. We have a love deck. Message of love or deck. What is the focus, please, for Capricorn? Thank you. This, these, yeah, okay. Chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense. So for some of you, uh, this could be going after your passions. Again, we did have that here. Um, it could be um, you having this drive like never before to create or do something new. It could also mean, of course, if there is, you know, we do have the uh, lovers and the two of cups. It can also be referring to that if you're wanting some kind of new love to come into your life. Uh, so it's like um, whomever this person, remember, some of you are going to have many options here. Um, so I'm only speaking of the one that I'm seeing that is watching Capricorn uh, that's really coming through here. Um, and, you know, Capricorn, there could be many watching you. But I'm talking about one person that you will completely connect with. Okay. Um, so that person, you'll know because it, it's going to be chemistry with that person like you've never known before. You talk to that person or go out on a date or whatever, it's going to seem natural. It's going to seem amazing. It's like everything's going to just fit. You're going to know. Okay, holding back. I should have extra expressed myself better. Yeah, see, this is that person. This is that person watching Capricorn. Capricorn, this could be where Capricorn is stepping into this Empress energy fully in the near future. I feel like what's going on here, Capricorn could be kind of intimidating to people and not realize it. And that's not a bad thing. It's not that Capricorn's trying to be intimidating cap you know capricorn is one of the biggest hearted uh zodiac signs they truly are and very loving very nurturing but when capricorn is planting seeds when capricorn is working on something that's where capricorn's mind mainly is and if it isn't then capricorn you know, tries to find that balance. See, there's that Ace of Wands again, sideways. It can make Capricorn feel off balance if Capricorn isn't making sure that Capricorn is staying balanced, staying grounded. So let's say if Capricorn's attempting to, uh, for example, create new businesses, and then there's this love interest over here, and Capricorn has to make sure that Capricorn stays grounded if allowing that relationship in as well and making sure there's a good balance of work and relationship and playtime. Okay? So it may require juggling time around or juggling a few things around, but Capricorn... We're great at that, right? <laughs> we know how to juggle. We know how to do these things. We've done it for how long now, right? So we're really good at it. So that's something that, you know, Capricorn can almost say, hey, I'm an expert in flexibility, right? <laughs> I'm an expert in figuring out how to do this, how to, how to make myself come into this grounded energy and stay there. Okay, what else is the focus, please, for Capricorn? <laughs> Capricorn, I love this reading. It's awesome. Well, okay, it wasn't. Okay, Spirit said it wasn't, folks. Thank you. What do we have? Escape. I left when things got hard. Okay, is this Capricorn or other? Other. Okay, so there's someone here that, again, there's someone here. In your past Capricorn that you let go of they walked away I feel like Capricorn you were attempting to plant your seeds live your purpose you knew your purpose or you were coming into the idea of your purpose here 
Begin re realizing your worth. This could have pushed this person away. It could have scared this person. And I also feel like, so it's like this intimidation type energy again, which Capricorn doesn't mean to intimidate people, right? But we're just, we're, we're so, we're such hard workers. We, whatever we're, we are working on in that moment, we put everything we have into it in that moment, right? Not throughout the whole day, of course, right? Because then we're going to be extending all of our pinnacles. We don't want to do that. But what I'm saying is in each moment. So if we're working on a project right here, right now, we're putting all of our thought, our mind, everything into that, turning the phone off, whatever, right? Focusing on that. And then when we walk away from that for the day or whatever, then we go and do the same with someone we love or we care about. Um, you know, it's it's like a good, healthy balance. So we have to make sure to keep it balanced. And that was the that was the issue in the past. Because I feel like this past person, this now this past person, this is someone that you actually had a relationship with. I, I'm feeling here. This past person, I feel like kept Capricorn off balance. I feel like this past person was very needy and, you know, Capricorn, I know um, as much as we love people and, you know, we, we cherish and we want to help and, you know, we're, we're some of the biggest loving hard people, but we're not good at clingy. Like, when someone wants our attention all day because Capricorns are workers. Capricorns like to live their passions. Capricorns like to do certain things just like anyone else. But Capricorn is, is really focused on creating something. We, we're creators. And when someone's like all day long, wanting our attention then that makes capricorn off balance because capricorn is like i gotta create i gotta create so capricorn has to have capricorn's time to to create and stay in balance and finding that good balance with relationships close romantic relationships so here, it's all coming out here. Capricorn is, has figured this out. It's like lessons learned. And now Capricorn understands it. And Capricorn's moving forward. Confidently. Oh, I love this for you, Capricorn. Okay, let me just see if there's anything else. Spirit, anything else for the focus or Capricorn? Anything else? Okay, Spirit's bringing me here. Okay, thank you. What else for Capricorn, please, on focus? Capricorn, I love this reading. I definitely love it. Okay, all of these? Okay. So what do we have here? Reverse or upright? Upright. Karma. Consequences. Causes. Cause and effect debts. Okay. So I feel like uh, Capricorn twofold here. Uh, Capricorns, many of you have already paid off your karmic debt or you're getting ready to right now. Okay. And that's where, uh, that's the past row here and stepping into this brand new beginning. Okay. Now, I also feel like I said twofold. I also feel like anyone or any situation that has come against Capricorn in any way that was unfair, um, especially anyone who has come up against Capricorn slandering their name, um, anyone that has told lies, like I'm talking lies that would really harm Capricorn, um, making threats towards Capricorn, anything like that. Um, 
karma is going to be served. And I know we don't want to wish that on anyone. However, we cannot stop the process. So it's like spirit just making you aware that karma is getting ready to happen for whoever these people are. And I do believe it's true because I did have a vision showing me from my own personal uh, situation. I don't know. It's a few weeks now. Time goes so fast. I can't keep up. But okay. Reverse or upright. Okay. And we have distracted, sidetrack, change, delays. Yeah. Be careful of distractions. I do feel like um, any of these karmic energies from the past, there may be a few of them still watching you. Uh, fake accounts. And yes, that, that is happening to me as well. So you're not alone. Don't allow uh, people coming on your account saying nasty things to you, trying to make you stop your purpose and things like that. Don't, don't even give them the time of day. You know, people trying to death threats or whatever. Don't even give them the time of day. Don't even, honestly. Because if we are living in God's will, if we are living our purpose, then we are divinely protected, plain and simple. And as long as you trust that, there's nothing to worry about. Don't even give it energy. Okay, reverse or upright? Upright. Yeah, see, we have intimacy, bonding, sensual, comp. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there is a person here, Capricorn, coming in. You're going to be very close. This is a very loving bond. Whether it's intimate, friends, whatever this is. This is beautiful. All right. I'm going to end this here, Capricorns. May you have an extremely blessed and lovely week.